And how did this music develop? A lot of these people, these weren't star performers. They were often people singing on street corners and just picked up by talent scouts and then recorded and for sale to the black community. They were called race records as opposed to hill dilly records, which were for the white community. And the music they recorded, to start off with, was the blues right from the heart. And they also were perhaps influenced by other cultures and inflected, inflected other bits of music into the blues and into the gospel songs. So a lot of these people were deeply religious. So a lot of their songs are, in fact, um, of that sort. Also, they were very poor people. So if they got a guitar, it was probably a very, very basic one. But the sounds they could create from it, or when they created the bottleneck style of actually fretting the strings with a, a broken bottleneck or, or something else like that, was a unique sound, which has, again, gone very much into popular music and <coughs> basically created a new genre of music. But somewhere in the background, it's got its roots in African culture. And one of the interesting studies is to see where, in fact, those crossovers creep into the music. So that's why in these days it's called Afro-American music rather than black music or blues or anything else because of its broad spread across the two cultures, from the two cultures. <laughs> 